Surly. Surly. Bad tempered and unfriendly. Pokemon announced it half a million to have one game with Pokemon. Wait, I saw on my Reddit. Let's see what this Reddit thread is about. I hope Tarek wasn't playing money. Someone placed a bit of 500k to play video games with Pokemon, beating FaZe Bank's previous leading bid of $411,000. Nah, this can't be real, surely. Who the fuck's Amir FPS and how do we meet him? No joke? Someone let Amir know? I'll play with him for half. And half of half as well. Wait, are these, is it a real thing though? Is it a real thing or is this like a meme? How are they cheating it though? It can't be real. There's no way half 500k, right? Like no way. It goes to charity. It's for charity. But who is this guy on your FPS? It was real, but they reset it because of the amount of fake bids. Well, if this guy's going to pay 500k, then let's do it. No. I feel like if I hosted something like this, somehow I would be paying the guy to play with me. Like, that's just weird. No. 20 comments is crazy. What are you guys talking about? Wait, that's a good question. Hey, what, what? This guy, this guy actually thinks I paid to play. What the fuck? Alright, I'm not gonna entertain it. It's fine. Show this to Sen after they qualify in champs. Don't lose, Jijima. Don't go, Jijima. Don't forget, Ichima. I like Ichima. Ichima? Ichima. It reminds me of my old intro song. What was it called? Ichima. Ichima. What was my old intro song called? Ichima. Ichima. All right, right now. Ichima. This is, I don't know if this is the right remix, though. He's from Korea. So wait, this means don't forget. Ichimov means don't forget. Damn, I never knew that about the song. I thought it was just Ejima, bro. Ejima. It's Jima, you know? Like, it's all good, ma. <laughs> Hold on, this might have to be a this might have to be a moment for us right here, because this guy typed some shit. What? eBay honestly never been this happy in a long time like I'm still smiling like five hours later. I hate SEN with every fiber of my being, and it felt like ecstasy hit me like a bullet in between my sparkling S eyeballs watching them get 2-0 foot D. They don't play real Valorant, that gameplay is not real Valorant like it has no class, and yet they get all the fans that are annoying and happy and I tried to be the bigger person and keep this all in but I can't bro I'm so happy RN. <laughs> I genuinely love you guys on G2. Shout out the goat Icy. By the way, you deserve everything good that'll happen in your life. I promise you, bro, your family raised you right. Shout out Valen for the goat calling. Shout out Leaf for keeping it real. Shout out Trent for that breach fracture clutch. That shit was beautiful. And shout out John up for being Canadian because I FW that bro. I love poutine. You guys are geniuses up there. I swear. I love this team so much, man. I love you G2 so much. I'm G2 for life now. All right, how do we ban someone from the Reddit? I actually don't know how, but this guy's getting banned. I saw Bustio beat the shit out of Cryo for a bit backstage back when they lost to Lev like two weeks ago. So I DK why they're lying like this. Oh yeah, I saw. I, saw, I only saw the Dryad video, but I didn't see anything else. Let's watch this shit real quick. Should we watch it? Why not? Where is it? So the, the apology's already out, but where's the actual... Should we just go top in the last 24 hours? Wait, Nate Shot's got a reaction too? Brad said the 100 these players hate each other. So this is a clip. I... Wait, I saw this clip. This is, this is the only thing I saw about this. But she folded under no pressure here. She folded under no pressure. And Sideshow baited her. I want to let everyone know that Eggman baited her. You know, I get a little bit of insight from the interviews. And I, I work with that. Whatever. I, sometimes I feel like I'm overcooking it like sometimes i'll get an interview or i'm like hmm, it seems like the team really hates each other not about left but other teams but we're which team yeah tell it <laughs> hold on hold on this is a devious man on your screen right now i just want to point that out to everybody the man in question is on your screen 
The man in question is on your fucking screen. <laughs> That's hundred thieves. <laughs> Jesse, don't hit us up. Look at work. Look, he's so happy. It's crazy. Damn, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not reading this too hard. But okay, hold on. This is what this reminds me of. All right, gentlemen. That was my last one, unfortunately. Wait, no, one more. One no, more, I'll play one, one more. I bet. <laughs> okay. For Lev, I went in. I talked to the coach. I was like, oh my God, he sounds like a perfect coach for this team. And then I go and interview every, I interview Mazzino, I interview King, I interview Aspas, I interview Tex, and everybody without me having to mention the coach is like, we love this coach. We look so good. We feel so good. This is what we always needed. So I feel like, you know, that's what I needed. That's what I needed as well. I just needed to hear them say it. And I feel like, well, the coach, that was my cat, by the way. Um, what the coach said was enough for me to know that they were in good shape. Also, go kid. <laughs> There's some thoughts about that, but we're going to leave it like that. <laughs> okay, let's hear the apology. After the podcast, I had to leave, but oh, I wait, no, let's see what Bustio said first. I think Bustio said something. Bustio's deleted tweet. Bro, she has no idea what she is talking about. It's crazy. Like WTF. This tweet has been deleted. Pussy. Did he delete that? Also, I saw on Twitter today, Bustio is fucking, apparently he's a, he's a big fan of collabing now. <laughs> wait, no, I saw 100 Thieves tweet at first, actually. Oh, wait, the tweet wasn't deleted, it's still here. Bustio collabing with Sophie Rain. Followed by 100 Thieves Bustio. Wait, no, the funny tweet was this one, hold on. This is the funny tweet. Sorry for putting you on blast, Bustio. I'm kind of like gassing your shit right now. Character development by 100 Thieves Val team. Maybe content isn't so bad. Oh, wait. Yeah, Bustio has, Bustio's dating her uh, high school sweetheart, no? So, they broke up two months ago? How the fuck do you guys know that? Way to bring it up. My bad, shit. She's a family friend. He talked about it like two weeks ago. Oh, Sophie Rain is a family friend? Hmm. Must be nice, dude. Look at Bustio go, bro. Where are we? All right. Was that the was that the only um hundred thieves or Nate Shot's reaction about the hundred thieves drama? You mother <laughs> fuckers better go straight to a frozen yogurt shop tonight. And every fucking night until this match versus Sentinels, you guys get whatever toppings you want. You want the cookie dough bites, gummy bears? We'll cover it, but you motherfuckers will be friends, okay? <laughs> Go to That's Pinkberry, good. get the pomegranate, the chocolate hazelnut. There's no way you guys don't fuck with each other just a little bit more when we're battling Sentinels. Thank you, Bustio. You can invoice uh, 100 Thieves. We'll, we'll get you back. Take care, Brady. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, okay, let's hear the apology. Wanna come and hey guys, so after the podcast I had to leave, but I wanna come and quickly clarify everything because I see what's going on right now. So uh let's uh, number let's do this in two parts. One stating facts, two apology. So one stating facts, what happened was in an official post match interview for the Spanish broadcast. You can go and find it. I describe it was uh, after the win against MIBR, I go and interview Cryo, and he says something along the lines of, yeah, we were struggling, we had to have a talk, and then we all had to kind of come, in, like, go on the same page and realize that we all want to win. So it was something along those lines that he said. And now, where I go wrong, and where I apologize. Is Why would she have to apologize? I think, um, I think she's apologizing because, because I guess she's like a, an official staff of VCT as an interviewer. So I don't know if maybe she gets insight that the average person wouldn't, but I don't know how true that is. That's one reason she might apologize. Two, she might be apologizing because she didn't mean to talk shit, but it came off that way. Why else would she apologize? I mean, obviously she's getting a lot of backlash, but she could double down as well. Is apolo apologize. Is that I um, go and state this fact, and then I go and give my opinion. And I think it's okay because 
in that point i i say it's okay because i'm stating the fact and i'm giving my opinion but in reality is i'm stating the fact and people are thinking that my opinion is also a fact so they're all mixing together Hmm. and that's not right because it's a pretty sensitive situation where it's obvious guys that i don't know what's going on like i don't know what goes behind hundred thieves i don't know if they're fighting i don't know i mean they already went and talked about it which i think is great but i should like that's my fault no matter what so um i shouldn't have said that i could have just stated the fact of oh yeah christ said that they just had to come and be on the same page or i could have quoted exactly the interview that's a resource that i wanted to use it's just something that kind of ended up happening and things ended Mm. up going that way and i go on the podcast and i say i could be completely wrong about this i could be really 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 off about this and you know i'm so the point she's making is that her opinion got twisted up as a fact when she was just stating her opinion on the situation based off of the maybe the interview she did with cryo but maybe even off other things but it seems like it got spun up into a big thing and um i feel like i mean i don't watch the plat chat that much but i feel like they regularly have some bold takes and they don't get that much backlash so i feel like hmm is it because she's not known for her bold takes which is why it threw people off or why did she catch so much shit for it compared yeah that kind of sucks that part that part of it kind of sucks um Wait, let's watch the clip again, actually. Let's see this. What did she exactly say? I mean, she didn't really say anything. All she said was that, uh... All she said was that if there's a team on mine, it'd be 100 Thieves. That was my cat. Looks but so good. Wanna, I, feels so good. I just want to point out that this all goes back to the real mastermind here. The guy... This is the guy we should be talking about here, guys. <laughs> it's because a pro called her out, whereas Plachat doesn't get called out by the pros, I think. Right. This is what we always need. This is like for, you. I come for Lev. <laughs> it's the inside. Yeah, tell us. Overcooking it. Like sometimes I'll get an interview or I'm like, mm, it seems like the team really hates each other. Not about Lev, but other teams. But mm, so I guess this was the same day or the day after, like this interview, maybe. For Which team? Yeah, tell us. Hundred thieves. <laughs> ah, she didn't even say anything that crazy, bro. But I guess like it got blown out of proportion for sure. Hmm. But to be fair, I wonder how it even got to the players. I would defend my team too, maybe? I would defend my team too. I don't know. Wait, <laughs> yes, he told us. That's literally not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't think she said anything crazy. She didn't say anything crazy for, for sure. So, what else is there? Off about this. I'm really off about this, clearly, so. This, clearly, so. I this clearly so i shouldn't have stated my opinion because i know people are going to confuse it for facts and i shouldn't have stated my opinion because people are going to confuse it for facts well that's people's fault that's not ever what i wanted which is you know when you listen watch the steel reply and nature reply to that All right, let's finish this first listen to it you'll see me trying to clarify in the best way that i can that that part the second part it was just my kind of crazy read on it um and it's not even like a it's not even something that I like. It's just a, it's just um, it's just like a, it's not a bold take. I don't know what the word is for it that I'm looking for. It's just uh, it's a brave take, I would say. Because, uh, yeah, that's how I put it. I hardly believed on it's just something that came up, and we ended up talking about it, and I was like, oh yeah, I think this could be what's going on. But again, nobody, none of us, none of the analysts, none of the cast series not the greatest analyst will ever know what goes behind the scenes of these teams uh, i say worse i probably so do you go into these podcasts to you give your own opinions on it and, and a lot of the, the cases but, it's fine a lot of the cases you can give your own opinion and it's okay but i understand why this one was more sensitive so i want to apologize to cryo first of all who was kind of involved in the, all of this for no reason and he was just giving his honest answer that they just had a meeting and they all want to win and i go when kind of fix and spread misinformation and change the, the narrative a, a little bit. Um, it's really sad. I really like interviewing Cryo, and I feel like this will damage <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, but that's just something that I need to own up to. And so 
Um, sorry to cry out, obviously, all of 100 Thieves. I saw Zeke talked a little bit about it as well, which is, like, how the vibes are actually really good, which is amazing. I'm, I really like you guys. I really like your team. So, I'm, I'm sorry that this is all end up happening, uh, like this. Boosty as well, who made the first tweet. Um, I saw EU, Bang. Yeah, I think pretty much. It's a very genuine apology, yeah. Which is fair. Yeah, yeah, she feels um, bad about yeah, it, for I'm sure. sorry, guys. It will never happen again. I'll be more aware of, you know, what I see and even understanding that my opinion where some people can't even be i think this is the best way for her to approach it as well did she have to apologize that's a whole other question but i think that it's probably uh smart for her to not double down on it and to just acknowledge the fact that she you know said something i guess that could be portrayed as out of line when really it wasn't that big of a deal but it got blown up it got blown Max up went, but i don't know i don't um, know what you can do because um, she's probably getting so much shit, and I, it's probably not justified really because i mean I don't know. I guess there's a couple ways to look at it, though. I think people spinning the narrative that she works for Riot when she is like the one side of looking at it. But a lot of times I'm wrong. So, uh, yeah, I hope that clarifies things. I don't know. She does work for Riot, yeah, but so do like all the guys on Plat Chat, and they like talk mad shit, don't they? Don't they talk mad shit? I know I talk mad shit, but I think obviously it's a little different. Coming from me, a lot of the time I'm joking. Sometimes I'm serious, sure. So I don't, yeah. But I feel like I've said way worse shit, and obviously no one's bad at it. But I do think the circumstances are a little different. I don't work for Riot. Look at the screw face reply. I was talking to you because I knew that they worked for you, and I wanted to tell you that you have my support for anything. But the problem is that I'm going to eliminate you from social networks so that they don't link me to you. What? Is it copy pasta? Okay, I don't know about it. <laughs> um okay i mean uh, yeah no worries i just didn't see i just didn't like seeing a huge reddit thread title title dryad says 100 these players hate each other when my team has a great environment and culture stuff i need to clarify Nah, honestly let's double down on this and point out the fact that the 100 thieves players getting so defensive speaks to the truth of what dryad said think about it dude Straight up, if they weren't actually pressed about this comment by Dryad, they would have doubled down and been like, yeah, we argue and we're still in playoffs. Suck. Okay, not that part, maybe. But, like, yeah, fuck with us. <laughs> Steals reply to Nate. Okay, let's see. I find the timing funny that their contract end dates were changed from 25 to 24. I don't know what that's about. The fuck is here? Help my new duo has lost it. The fuck I never got this offer. Help me. This is true. But candidly, Josh, I I just figured you hated everybody and there was nothing I was gonna do to stop that, brother. <laughs> You've been playing these games for fucking decades, brother. You're setting your ways. You uh old man Hiko. There's nothing we can do to fix that. Good times though, man. Hope you're doing well. I, we got it all the time. I remember after football games going for team ice cream after some big wins, did you go after big losses? This guy looked, this guy looked chaos beating 100 thieves. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Is HLTV link? That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess Reddit got what they wanted. They wanted some drama. They got some drama. Okay, so Cryo Asuna Bang and EU contract end dates have all been adjusted from 25 to 24 per the VCT GCD, which I guess is the database. Bustio's end date was already 24. All 100 of these players are free agents after this season. And I guess this comes out after the news of speculation of their team environment being shit. This is... The VP of Esports at 100 Thieves, Joseph, wanted to clear up the misconception about this. We had amendments to our player contracts before the season that originally expired in 25. This was due to the uncertainty in the market at the time and was all done in all parties' best interest to align in the short term. We had amendments to their contracts before this season. So this was already done beforehand, and I guess it just got updated? Hmm. Interesting. Dryad was right. Bad timing, though. Definitely bad timing for this to happen. Bustio beats Cryo on the regular. Don't let them silence the truth. Try to show us the hush money. 
Esports so hilarious. Why is esports so hilarious? Because this got blown out of proportion. Is that why? Immature kids good at moving mouse get way too much attention. Just like the Argentinian national team singing. What? Being talented is not equal to being intelligent and mature. Okay, I can agree to that part, but I don't know what he's talking about in the rest of this. Study hard, become a doctor, engineer, or a teacher. The other one in the world, neither on idolized football or some of them are pure trash. The situation is a big nothing burger. 100 Thieves players and staff are within their rights to be upset. But the fans community, on the other hand, absolutely not. This is no different from Ben, for example, making speculations about the dynamic of energy based on the comms of the players that are existing in the same building space as him. Perfectly said, talent is supposed to be both have strong opinions. If that drives to this for clown, as you mentioned a few seconds later, she's saying she might overcome the interpretation. Damn. True. Truing. Truing. Truing on the Reddit. How are you going to judge a pro player when you're not even close to one? Why can't people have their own opinions? Like, I don't even think she said something so out of line where it's so extreme. But I don't blame the players for defending themselves again. Like, I don't think any, anyone really did anything wrong here, in all honesty. But, shit, at least we got a... No, it sucks for Dryad because she had to apologize and that sucks. And she probably felt like she really did something bad when she really didn't. So I think it's kind of shitty. Um, but I think that it was nice of her to make the video. Although she probably shouldn't have had to. Um, I think it was just a smart decision to clarify. Oh, wrong scene. Uh, one hour stall? Yeah, it kind of went by fast though. I'm not going to lie. Hey, shout out Dryad and 100 Thieves for uh, providing one hour of content here. Thank you guys so much. W drama.